guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix stabilizer rattling. In my latest sound test video of the Z70, a lot of you have pointed out that there was a ton of rattle on the space bars and it was quite annoying. And I completely agree and I'm going to fix that today. The first thing you're going to need is some dielectric grease from Permatex. Item number is 81150 and you can find it at your local Menards or on Amazon. You'll also need some sort of pointy object to guide a little drop of the grease onto the stabilizer, so I used a little clay tool. It's actually made for sculpting clay, but works perfect for this application. Or you could just use a needle or something like that. You'll also need some wedge applicator sponges. Now this is a bit out of the ordinary. I actually went into Walmart looking for some cotton balls because that's what I found other people used, but cotton balls will break apart. These sponges are only 88 cents, or you can borrow your sister's. They have some vitamin E for your keyboard, so it's going to freshen up your keyboard and give it some vitamins, which is really good. It actually says right on the package that they are latex-free and they will not crumble or flake. So I thought that was a good sign, and I went with it. So what I did is just used scissors to cut a tiny little sliver of the sponge off and cut four pieces out. And you actually only need two pieces. Worth it. So you put these two little squares of sponges underneath the stabilizer wire as best you can. Now when you put the keycap on and you begin typing, you might find that they like to pop out. So just kind of keep trying to wedge it underneath there with a needle or a pointy something. I mean, be safe. Your PCB is right there. Don't do anything stupid and damage something. But um, just kind of wedge it under there and then your rattle will be gone. The dielectric grease will help with the smooth operation of your stabilizer. And there's two spots that you want to try to put this on because this is a cherry style stabilizer. Because it's plate mounted, it's a little bit trickier, but one drop is going to go on the right side where the stabilizer wire almost touches the plate, and then another drop on the left side. Be careful not to use too much. And it worked! Alright, and that's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this short little how-to video. If there's any other things that you want to know about keyboards, just leave them in the comments below. And the comments with the most upvotes, I'll take a look at and see if I can do a video on them. That would be really cool. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. That is pretty amazing. It has been like five years. It's been a very slow-growing channel, but slow consistent growth is totally okay with me that's pretty awesome so thank you guys for subscribing pretty excited about that and um yeah i will catch you in the next video